This is it, the maglev system called M-Bahn. It's not a tram, nor a light rail vehicle. It's a completely new traffic system. The maglev system differs from the other railway systems through its magnetic levitation, and in that the vehicle is propelled from the track side. This led to the development of new vehicles and new guideways. The abbreviation M-Bahn stands for Maglev System Train and refers to the whole system. This is being promoted by the German Federal Minister of Research and Technology. A view of the track. Here, it's an elevated track. Note the shape of the guideway. This is determined by the two essential features of the M-Bahn. One, the vehicle is carried by permanent magnets instead of heavy wheels and bogies. Two, the vehicle is not equipped with a motor in the general meaning of the word because the propulsion elements are integrated in the track. Together with the permanent magnets on the vehicle, they form a linear motor. Upon switching on the three-phase current, an electromagnetic traveling field is generated. Spacing rollers keep the permanent magnets from getting into contact with the iron cores and thus getting jammed. This new carrying and propelling technique used for the M-Bahn makes it possible to use very light vehicles. The effect is that the energy required for propelling the vehicle is reduced by up to 50% compared with conventional systems. The M-Bahn, of course, can also run underground. The complete operation of the system is observed on a visual control panel at the control center. TV cameras monitor the stations and transmit the pictures onto the monitor screens. So the control center is informed at all times of the things taking place at the stations. The safety equipment also includes a radio telephone communication system with the vehicle and the stations. Safety is the prime necessity, by day and at night. An important task of the M-Bahn will be to complement existing local traffic systems of a city the terminus of an underground railway line. For many passengers, the last stop. Other passengers go to the opposite side of the platform and continue by M-Bahn. Soon you'll have the opportunity to use the M-Bahn in Berlin. The first M-Bahn for public transportation is being built here. It's being funded by the federal government and the Berlin Senate. When the foundation stone was laid on the 16th of June, 1983, the Federal German Minister of Research and Technology said this project is an enormously difficult practical test. It will need to be integrated into a complex transport network which will have to be fully tested. The aim of all this is to provide an attractive and comprehensive network which I'm sure will turn out to be a viable network that will interest possible future customers. The work will be carried out in two stages. A 1.6 kilometer long track leads from Gleistriak underground station via Bernburger Strasse station to the terminus Kemperplatz in the new cultural quarter on the southeastern edge of the Tiergarten. In 1987, M-Bahn trains consisting of two vehicles will enter service carrying passengers to Kemperplatz.